Hi, and welcome to another in Road CC's um, continuing series of first ride videos. Um, in this video, we're not riding a bike yet, but we will be. We are looking at the looking at and riding the Simplon Pride. Uh, it's a new aero road bike which launches in September 2017. It's got a number of interesting features and we'll be talking in a moment to Stefan from Simplon who will be telling us more about it. And the standout thing that's you know is going to grab your attention is this integrated handlebar and stem with a like a little gap there for increased aeroness. Um, it's also got its own um, integrated fork again uh, like a couple of the other aero 2018 bikes we've seen recently. Um, specially designed mount for the disc brake. It's again another bike that's disc brake only. That seems to be something of a trend with aero road bikes. We've seen a number that are disc brake only. Um, this one will come in a number of different builds. Um, currently it's slated to be a uh, complete bike only but it may um, be available as a frame set at some point too. As well as the uh, integrated stem, it's got an aero seat post. Um, interesting point there is that if you don't want to have the aero post, if you want to put your own round post in, they simply on provide a special clamp as part of the as part of the package, in which allows you to put a normal round post in. Ditto, you don't actually have to, if you wanted to fit uh, a conventional stem and bar with this, I'm not sure why you would, but if you did, you could. Um, they also provide aero um, spacers so that you can get the positions exactly as you would wish. And the stem um, part of this bar, or the, the bar comes with different lengths of stem to, to help you dial your position in. Anyway, Without further ado, we'll ask some, we'll get Stefan in here from Simplon. Stefan, come in and join me to tell us a bit more about the Pride. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with Simplon, and not everybody in the UK possibly is, uh, it's an Austrian company, isn't it? It's uh, true, yeah. yeah. <laughs> new to the UK market, new relatively the, new. New to the UK, and we've already um, reviewed the Simplon Grand Fondo, mm -hmm. uh, which we liked a lot, um, but this is obviously a very different machine. So who is it, first off, uh, who is it you're aiming the bike at? That's a good question. The moment you look at it, you think race, and mm -hmm. that, was the, that was the original idea to come up with a new race bike that pretty much replaces our Nexio, which mm -hmm. is a classic brake, uh, puristic almost uh, race bike. Yeah. But then if you look at who rides the bicycles, you understand that if you can make it comfy enough for the average person that likes an aerodynamic, fast, good looking bike, mm -hmm. obviously the target group gets much broader then. Sure. And in terms of increasing rider comfort, what are the things that you've done um, with this design, with the mm -hmm. Pride? To, to achieve that. Mm, yeah, I would like to mention two points. One relates to the fork. Yep. Uh, as you've seen the Grand Fondo, the Grand Fondo also features our uh, Raptor fork, which goes a bit m a bit more forward than the classical fork would do. Yep. And then it goes back a little bit. We okay, call it Raptor yeah. dropout right. solution. So we get the wheelbase back to where we want it, mm -hmm. but we have a fork that is a bit better in terms of suspension. Right, okay. Uh, so that's the, the, the front part. So the idea is for it to sort of filter out a bit of the road bus. Absolutely, that? yes, yes. And uh, besides the overall construction, I would like to mention the seat, uh, the seat post construction, which is obviously flattened, as you can mm -hmm. see here, and then has this little gap here, which gives the whole seat post and the bicycle more vertical flex. Also, that okay. adds to the comfort. Right, right, right. Yeah. And I, uh, as I mentioned in my introduction, you've done a lot to, to make the bike as versatile as possible for the Absolutely. end user in terms of, so although this is an integrated bar and stem, you could take, you can take it off, apparently. And, uh, I'm not sure why you'd want to if you're going for this bike surely part of the appeal would I would have thought would be the look but um, but that's that's fairly yeah. simple to do is absolutely. it absolutely we aim for maximum versatility and we also wanted to exclude any remaining um, unanswered questions that okay. keep you from buying the bicycle. Yeah, no yeah. excuses. That was the, uh, the okay. motto. Whether it's the uh, the headset, uh, the, the handlebar, mm -hmm. the stem combination that you can re replace with the with the standard one yep. if you want to. I agree with you. Once you've seen it as it is, you may not want it anymore. You want to yeah. stick with this. And yep. then the second one is the seat post 
which is uh, which an, is an oval uh, seat post, but with a, uh, a replacement part for here, you can as well go with the standard size uh, seat post if you want to. So you can also replace that one. I mean, one of the things that we um, sort of latched onto straight away when we saw this was uh, at the stem was it would be great to stick your your Garmin in there, but at the moment that go the, there is an integrated mount here is a Absolutely. proposition for the mount that's for aerodynamic reasons yeah. because this is not meant to be filled this gap is is there for for a purpose okay. so if you put the garment in there you, it's not as aerodynamic as it used to be there's the there's the, uh, the attachment for the insert for the holder mm -hmm. we come we can we can offer the holder for this for different devices right. not just the garment but that's perfectly in line with this okay. whereas if you close the gap uh, the the the, the, the stream is a whole okay. different okay. one yeah. so, and and yeah. then um, in terms of the tube profiles you've got some lovely sculpting here from the fork into the into the down yep. tube and I notice you've got this uh, area here yep, where it's cut bottle, out yes. mm -hmm. for the bottle is that yep. so that is all um, to maximize optimize Absolutely. aero efficiency yes. yep. Yep. presumably yep. if you're buying this as a complete bike it comes with the DT Swiss uh, rims are standard or have, have you got a number of different wheel we, we options? We typically offer no, like five or six different wheel set options right in our configurator so what you see is Everything we present is always just a suggestion of what it could be like. Right. Yeah. Again, one of the things, having ridden it, um, it's a lovely, it's a particular, in fact, very much like uh, to, to Dave about this, my colleague Dave, uh, who was on the Grand Fondo when mm. we were out, and we were both saying both of them are very smooth bikes on the road. Um, I think I would have, if it was me, I'd probably put 28 mil tires on instead of the 25s that are on this one. I don't know whether you agree with me or not. I perfectly <laughs> agree with you because, to be honest, I've been test riding it with 28 tires yeah. uh, with the traditional uh, stem stem handlebar combination. Though, oh, okay. So I've, I've never had the chance to ride. So you're probably faster than me in terms of being well, able I don't to know ride the original that. one. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, I, I had the eight, uh, 28 mil uh, tires on it and it, was, it felt more like hovering yeah. than, than, than riding. Like it's it's, it, is, it is amazing well. what difference yes. a, 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 a fatter tire makes yeah. to the to the setup um, and there was one other thing that um, was quite keen for you to show off to us which is a really clever um, little bit of design on here so uh, as most people know with disc brake road bikes and, and obviously mountain bikes most of them have gone to, to a through axle but you've got I mean I looked at that and thought well that's a, a quick release that's interesting but mm -hmm. it's not quite a quick release is it um, if you'd like to demonstrate maybe or yeah yeah I can it's a we call it a speed version of a through axle right because typically the problem that you have is once you open this and you pull it out it falls somewhere you put it in your mouth you stick it somewhere yeah and you, I mean we're not octopuses are we yeah, so yeah, yeah, we yeah, only yeah, have yeah, the two yeah. hands uh, to take care of this so if I can yeah, do walk it. around this and show yeah. you how this works so once you open it and you release it on the other side by pushing this button you can easily pull it out mm-hmm Yep. And you can already see, even though I'm using quite a force here, it's not coming out fully. Yeah. There's a lock mechanism here, which prevents it from falling out. And then you mm -hmm. just put it back in and lock it. And that's it. And that's pretty quick. There's a screw here that allows you to, uh, to, uh, to adjust this. Mm -hmm. So taking it out is possible, but it's not obviously not meant to come out easily. Okay. Yeah. And uh, in terms of uh, colors, because... I know performance is everything, but lots of people oh. are <laughs> swayed. How many different color options are there with this? We're offering two color versions uh, for the start. One is this black stealth kind of yep. black, black beauty look, as I call it. And the other one is still very subtle, but with a little bit more flesh, yeah. especially the logo and some of the trim colors are come in what we call lime, lime. We call it lime green, yeah, yeah. almost a bit of a neon. Yeah. And this is what the teams will be on because this is going to be difficult for us to communicate. What are they writing on? Everybody's yeah, going to yeah, be interested, yeah. but it's really hard to read. The other one is more in the face in terms of the, the logo, but still a very pretty subtle, um, subtle bike. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, they're both, they're both certainly. Um, Lookers. And the goal was, I mean, the, the design is a bit polarizing, mm -hmm. which I believe is good. And we'd yeah. rather have a few people complain about the look. Yeah. And then a, a lot of people really love it than mm. having sort of a mediocre, mm, yeah. no fish, no meat uh, uh, attitude to this. And we believe that even with no graphics, pretty soon everybody could uh, identify this bicycle in, in a group uh, and, and tell, it, tell this is a simple bike. And if you want to buy one, when will they be shipping? Uh, first size, which is the medium that we're looking at, uh, comes uh, sometime in September, mm -hmm. and then the other the other sizes will be added month by month. 
And uh, was it six sizes? Six sizes. From what, extra, extra small extra through? Extra small through to uh, yeah. extra ex large. Extra large, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Handlebar width comes in three different handlebar widths. Oh, yeah. 40, 40 42, 44. Okay. Yeah. That all sounds cool. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks very much, Steph. My pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't say remember to bloom in. Can I just say that? And remember, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll find plenty more coming soon. Bye.